Thank you, Administrator Regan, for joining us today, and thank you uh, to the Chairman and to Ranking Member Scott for holding this hearing. Last week, I convened a Farm Bill Summit in my district to hear directly from Virginia crop and livestock producers, farm groups, and conservation organizations about their priorities as we work to craft and advance the Farm Bill. We had more than 100 people in attendance and heard from a wide range of commodities uh, and perspectives. One topic that came up throughout the day was that conservation practices that producers and growers were choosing to implement on their operations. We also discussed the USDA conservation programs that Virginia producers utilize in order to make those investments in best management practices. Unfortunately, we also heard from some farmers who had been waiting for quite some time to gain access to these programs due to demand outpacing funding and workforce shortages at NRCS. I am proud that we have significantly increased funding for these oversubscribed voluntary conservation programs so that more producers like those that I represent can access them without the long wait times. We also need to look at how to strengthen the NRCS workforce and ensure boots are on the ground to implement these programs. Uh, and I will get off my soapbox on that. Because we know that these programs are good for farmers' bottom lines, but they're also beneficial to water quality, which brings me to your visit here today. Uh, they're beneficial to water quality in their surrounding communities and watersheds, and much of Virginia is in the Chesapeake, water Bay, uh, Chesapeake Bay watershed. And I am proud of the steps that we are taking as a region and as a commonwealth to improve the health of the Chesapeake Bay. But there certainly is more work to be done. Can you share some of your insights on how investments in conservation uh, through the Farm Bill, um, investments in conservation practices um, in the agriculture sector have and can continue to improve water quality in vulnerable, bay, vulnerable bays, ray, rivers, estuaries, such as the Chesapeake Bay, and certainly uh, these waterways are such drivers of Virginia's economy? Sir. Well, thank you for that question, and, and I'll say, you know, over the past 40 years, uh, EPA has invested more than $1.5 billion through the Chesapeake Bay program, uh, and thanks to the bipartisan infrastructure law recently, we're deploying an extra $238 million specifically to the Chesapeake Bay. It's because of the strong partnership uh, with agricultural organizations in the watershed uh, that we've uh, really made a lot of progress and appreciate constructive engagement with farmers and agricultural organizations across the Bay States, but especially in, in Virginia. I'll give you an example. Um, just a few months ago, uh, the Chesapeake Bay Program awarded $500,000 in bill funds, leveraging more than a 100, leveraging more than one, 500,000, leveraging more than 1 million total to support Virginia dairy farmers. And this is focusing on implementing conservation plans and reducing nutrient runoff in partnership with uh, the Maryland Virginia Milk Producers Cooperative and the Virginia Department of Conservation and Recreation. So that's just one example of conservation and partnership, not just with uh, ag organizations and the state, but with EPA. And USDA and EPA, we've established a new federal task force on crediting Chesapeake Bay conservation investments. Uh, this task force has and will continue to work on and identify uh, more fully committing to uh, how we recognize credit programs for farmers. Uh, so those are a couple of examples of where conservation is playing a lead role, not regulation, and EPA's relationships with our states and our farmers are really um, ensuring that we seek success there. And I appreciate <clears throat> you mentioning the dollar amount in terms of EPA funding that we were able to leverage to the benefit of communities. You know, certainly across Virginia, our aquaculture continues to grow. Our uh, rivers uh, and lakes are not only a source of great pride for, for Virginians, but also major economic drivers. Um, and as we are seeing as substantial um, growth to our oyster um, and aquaculture industries, making sure that we're bringing back the health of the bay and our rivers is a top priority for so many Virginians. So I thank you for highlighting the types of programs where EPA does join um, with USDA uh, to ensure that investments um, and programs to the benefit, again, voluntary programs to the benefit of, as in your example, uh, dairy producers can also have that downstream, quite literally, impact. Um, certainly we know that farmers are the original conservationists, so I would just continue to encourage you, and I appreciate you're doing it, would love to see more of it, ensuring that farmers and producers are at the table when we're discussing environmental challenges, uh, water cleanliness challenges, 
um, and the portfolio VPA. So thank you for your work, sir, and I yield back. Thank you. Thank you.